Welcome to another episode of Will It Work? Today we've got the Hyperscan video game system. And uh, scan these cards, and uh, there's a controller, and I guess there's a game, and it gives you powers to play in the game. This is the X-Men one, includes the X-Men game pack, and it's the console plus the game pack. I bought it at Walmart for $40 back in the day uh, when this was around. Uh, in the 2000s somewhere, I believe. And um, I'll tell you that uh, this has never been opened or used, so I'm not going to open it and use it uh, for this demonstration. And I don't think people are going to be too concerned about that. Uh, ultimately, we want to just show that, you know, that our consoles work, but when it's brand new, uh, we know it's going to be functional. So... Um, yeah, you know, it, it looks like it's some sort of fighting game type of thing, and you, you would get extra moves or whatever um, with these cards, and then you could get different characters and things with cards. And I don't know if this was a big success or not. Rated T for Teen for Violence. It seemed a little bit of a novelty, more like a TV game plug thing. Uh, you know, uh, it comes with uh, the X-Men video game disc, uh, one controller, so I don't know how you're going to play two-player with one controller. But, eh, whatever. It's, maybe it's just, you know, play against the computer or something. Um, and six X-Men cards. And, you know, the idea was is that they would sell these cards to kids. And, and they'd get more powers and things like that. But parents are usually the ones buying these things. And parents can typically uh, tell when something's going to be a, a bit more uh, cash out, out of their hand. But, you know, it did sort of showcase something here, you know, where the Amiibo um, and the Skylanders and things started to come, which was a very similar idea, except that rather than these cards, you know, they, they had those miniatures, and the miniature, they had cards too, but the, the miniatures are really the the um, little statues and things were really a draw, because you had all of these cool looking um, collectibles, uh, whereas a card, you know, realistically, unless it's got a chip in it or something, you can just find them on the internet and reprint them. So it's, it, you know, they did that with the uh, the DS scan thing, you know, and then there was um, uh, the PlayStation had the, the camera that looked down at the game board and you had the collectible card games, etc. And all those things you could just download off of the internet. So uh, they had a limited amount of utility. I mean, if you could get different games, you know, uh, for the hyperscan on disc, I'm assuming, uh, with different... Um, play this might have had a, a a short following for what it was but uh you know ultimately um it, it didn't stick around so it was probably just like a one christmas type of deal and then it sort of faded into nothing but um you know hyperscan definitely works i'm sure of it so we're not going to test it out and uh, it's just another one in the collection